Are you dying to learn what hypopressives are? Have you heard of hypopressives and know that they can be really good for getting your core back after babies, but in general, they're just really good at, for a lot of things. They can help take pressure off of your pelvic organs, which means that they can help you prevent things like pelvic organ prolapse or keep prolapses at bay. They are amazing for shrinking your waist. Bodybuilders use these for competition prep to help increase, to decrease the size of their waist. And so vacuums or hypopressives are really a cool thing that you can do to train your core. So in this video, we're gonna go through the benefits of hypopressives and when you should be using them. So I'm Dr. Allison Felt, owner of Body Motion Physical Therapy, and I was trained in hypopressives by a, a fitness instructor that owns Low Pressure Fitness. So the Low Pressure Fitness is a series of poses that uses vacuums, aka hypopressives, to help improve your core activation. And it's an intense way for your breath to create that core activation so you're not actively contracting your muscles. That is created through what is a vacuum. So hypopressives actually mean decreased pressure in the abdominal area. There's really cool studies that show sensors put intravaginally and interrectally that decrease the pressure intravaginally and interrectally that shows that this is what hypopressives do, which means that they can be such an epic tool for healing the core. So what does a hypopressive look like? Let's go into it. So I'm not gonna go through the low pressure routine on this video, but I am gonna show you what a hypopressive looks like. So when we start a hypopressive, in order to help stimulate the movement, you might want to dig underneath your rib cage a little bit, helping open up and free up your diaphragm. And especially if your abdominals are tight, that can restrict the diaphragm expansion that you can get. Um, you can also restrict some of the rib movement that you can get. So we're gonna do a nice breath. If I put my hands here on my, my ribs, I'm gonna do a lateral costal breath. This is opposite of a diaphragmatic breath. This is a, called a lateral costal breath where we breathe into the rib cage itself. So we're gonna take a breath here and exhale. If I was using a diaphragmatic breath, it would be here. So I would be and exhaling here. Okay. So now I'm gonna go into back into my, my lateral costal breath, so here we go. And exhaling. Inhale again. Exhaling here. I'm gonna do one final breath in. On the exhale, I'll hold all the air out, completely decreasing the volume of my lungs as best as possible. Then I will shut off my breathing and create a vacuum. That is called a hypopressive or an abdominal vacuum. Now I am doing it laying down. We'll all follow this with multiple videos where we do it laying, um, where we can do it in different positions. But for now, this would be the best practice to start doing. And I find that most people get it better when they're laying down on their backs. So when I created that vacuum, I had to close my throat, right? And exhale all the air out of my lungs. Then I created the suction of pulling my diaphragm up and underneath my ribs what, when I had no air in my body. And what that did is it pulled up my pelvic floor. It pulled in my abdominals. It turned on some of my lower back muscles, my multifidi muscles, and it really worked my diaphragm. Okay, so this is hard work. It works your intercostal muscles as well. And so we're gonna go into that again and let me show you what that looks like again. So we're gonna go inhale here into ribs. Exhaling here. Two more breaths, inhale. Exhale. Inhale again. Exhale all the air. My hands give pressure to help really deflate the lungs. Turn off breathing. Okay. 
and I try to hold it for as long as I can. <sighs> Exhaling. And so again, you want to, this isn't like a, I'm not like sucking in actively with my muscles. What you are seeing is the effect of the vacuum of the diaphragm being suctioned up underneath the rib cage. This takes practice in order to activate the diaphragm in that direction. So some of the best practice that you can do when you're doing these abdominal vacuums is to do them after like any lifting or exercise or even running. What it's going to do is it's going to help suck the organs up into your body because it creates that negative pressure and that vacuum effect. It's helping the, it's helping the bladder get sucked into place. It's helping the rectum get sucked into place. It's helping the uterus get stuck in, sucked into place. Now, I want to caveat this to say these are not safe during pregnancy and you shouldn't do this type of core work, these type of vacuums and breath holding during pregnancy. You don't want to disrupt any blood flow to the fetus um, and any, or any oxygen to the fetus. So we don't want to do these types of breath holds um, where we deplete our bodies from that oxygen um, when we are doing this type of exercise. And again, this decreases the intravaginal pressure. This is the only exercise that shows decrease in pressure. If you do crunches or any ab work like planks, that's all gonna increase, no matter how engaged your core is, that's all gonna increase the pressure inside the vaginal canal. And so hyperpressives is the only thing that can help create almost, it, it shows this in some studies, a negative pressure inside vagina. So if you talk about like the key to healing prolapse or keeping your symptoms at bay, it's doing incorporating this hypopressive work into your normal core routine or into your normal fitness routine. I personally use it for symptom management of my prolapse and it has been such a great tool for me, especially after I've done any of my lifts or any heavy lifting, which I often do five days a week. And so following my lifts with this kind of work has been great in pressure reducing and symptom management of incontinence. And so I highly recommend it. When you're doing these activations, you're not actively recruiting your transverse abdominis, your pelvic floor. You're just not you, you know, working to contract them. It's the vacuum effect that is creating the strength and the suction at which it's pulling the organs up and pulling the rest of the core muscles in. It's a passive effect. It's really cool. So I really think that you should start trying these and incorporating these. These are, can, can be a great way to incorporate into any postpartum core rest restoration program, um, especially if you have any diastasis or trouble getting tension in your abdominals. This is, a nut, this is a great way to start building tension without having to recruit the muscles. Now, all of this to say that a postpartum routine is really important to work with a pelvic expert physical therapist um, in order to help reduce a lot of that tension that can be in a lot of these areas that can limit the effect that you get with the vacuums. So start working on the vacuums and it will help you throughout your postpartum journey and through your core restoration. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share it with friends. Please go through these positions or try this exercise and let me know if you did. Let me know if you enjoyed it as well. Do not let yourself get dizzy. You don't want to feel lightheaded after these. So only hold your breath to what you feel is possible. And a good, a good starting place is to do three lateral costal breaths, exhale all the air, then inhale. See if you can hold it for three seconds. And if that feels easy, you can work your way up to six seconds, 10 seconds. Um, for me, I don't go past six seconds right now, so that's my capacity. And then you exhale all the air, and then you see if you can repeat that three other times in the same position. All right, well, I hope you found this helpful, and I'm excited for you to start your low pressure journey or your hypopressive journey. Um, again, check out Low Pressure Fitness if you are interested. They are who I got my training from, and they are who ha I, you know, I follow in order to keep up on my hypopressive um, fitness. So, all right, take care. Bye.